，然后嗯，这个角色呢是会有录像的，所以说如果你们啊漏了中间的某部位，或者说你们有朋友呃想要看回放的话呢，我们会在我们的 YouTube channel 上面啊放我们的回放。So, uh, hi everyone, and my name is Howard, uh, the host of today's webinar. Welcome to Lower Beam Mass Contest Clubs, the first summer webinar. The whole session will last for around one hour and 15 minutes. We are delighted to invite two excellent math students um, from our school. They just graduated and they are Tim Z. Ling and Charles Zhu. They are previous uh, MCC president and executives and have achieved excellent grades in both school, math classes and contests. Um, 呃，欢迎来到呃罗宾数学呃竞赛俱乐部的整个暑期的第一场啊、呃、线上讲座。我们很荣幸邀请到了今年的两位优秀的数学毕业生啊、呃、，Tim Zhi Ling 和 Charles Zhu 来作为我们的演讲嘉宾。他们是呃前任的呃进这个俱乐部的呃 President 还有 Vice President。然后呢，他们在学校的数学 AP 的数学还有。数学竞赛里面都取得了非常好的成绩。Um, today we are gonna cover the following topics: why we study math, study web math, and tips for studying math, and math math contest for high school students. 今天我们要讲的主题是为什么要学习数学，啊，还有呃学习数学的一些小技巧，还有。啊，适合高中生的一些数学竞赛，整个讲座会持啊持续一个小时十五分钟左右。啊、嗯，哦，看到一个说可以在 YouTube 看回放吗？是可以的，我们大概会在两三天之后将呃回放上传到我们的 YouTube channel。So first, let me introduce um our uh staff and team to you guys. So host is me, Terry and Eleanor. Tech support is me, Terry and Garrison, and poster and promotion is me and Melody. Um, so you show what my team the team uh was to share and I'll hold a Terry for Eleanor sure for sure. Um, she should just share sure what Terry had a garrison. Um, hi, Bob, uh, she tried to see what her Melody. Uh, Roman, uh, go see him. 嗯、呃，然后呢，我们的演讲者是 Tim Zhi Ling 跟 Charles， 他们是呃我们之前的 Math Contest Club 的主席。然后呢，今年都从我们学校毕业了，也去了非常好的学校。然后具体的介绍会在接下来啊、呃、给到。So let me introduce our guest speaker to you guys. Um, so they are uh Tim Zhi Ling and Charles. They just graduated from Lower Bing uh Secondary School this year, and they are all going to very good universities. In September, so today is a very good chance to listen to them about their experience in math and uh, their precious um, advices. Now, uh, let me give the microphone to Eleanor to uh, introduce today's event schedule. So, uh, 然后让我们有请 Eleanor 来介绍一下今天的、um, timeline. 谢谢。嗯。Oh, thank you, Howard. Now, let's um, so let's talk about the event schedule today. Um, firstly, at seven p.m., which um, there will be an opening ceremony, which already happened. 七点半的时候，我们的 webinar 就正式开始了。And at seven ten p.m., there will be a brief uh host. Speech 就是在七点十分左右，就是刚刚发生的，就是让 Howard 我们的 host 主持人来发言。And at seven twenty p.m., our first speaker Timothy Lin will give us a speech. 在七点二十呢 ，Timothy Lin 就是我们第一个演讲者，会把呃告诉我们关于他的经验。And at seven forty-five, the second speaker Charles Zhu will um, give his speech. 在七点四十五分 ，Charles 左就是我们第二个演讲者，就会跟我们分享他的经验。At eight o five, there will be a a break, and we will 
um, feature a YouTube math video. 中场休息就是八点零五分，我们会放一个呃、uh, YouTube 上的数学影片。At eight ten, there will be a club overview. 在八点十分，我们会介绍我们的数学俱乐部。And lastly, at eight thirty, there will be a ending ceremony. 就是在八点半的时候，呃，就会有，呃，问答环节，然后这个 webinar 就正式结束了。那现在呢，我们就邀请我们的主持人 Howard 来，嗯，接着给一个小的发言。呃、uh, ，I'll in- Give the mic back to Howard. Okay, so before I start the、uh, official session,、uh, I just want to ask you a question: How do you like math? You can give an answer out of the range of ten, from one to ten. You can type it in the chat box. 就我们开始之前呢，我想问你们一个问题，就是说，你们对于数学的感觉是怎么样的？你们可以啊、uh, 选一个数字，从一到十，中间啊、uh, 选一个数字，然后。发在 chat box 里面，十就是非常喜欢，很感兴趣，然后愿意很,很花时间去做题，然后一的话就是啊，我特别不喜欢数学哦，我看了一下啊，大部分的呃回复都是大于五的，就说明今天来的大部分的呃参与者呢都是很呃都是对数学有兴趣。So the most replies uh I saw is greater than five. So yeah, perhaps uh the participants today are generally interested in math. So yeah, it's pretty good and. The next question: How do you like mass contests? If you have ever、um, heard of it or taken any mass contests, it's still out of ten. Ah,、uh, so the second question is: You have ever heard of it or taken any mass contests? It's still out of ten. Ah, so the third question is: Okay, the numbers I saw are lower than the previous ones.、Um, yeah. yeah, it's very understandable because math contests are commonly harder and more painful. Okay, 就是嗯， um, 我看到数字就是比之前都少了一点了，因为也、yeah, 很容易理解，因为数学竞赛就会更难嘛。但是我们今天呢，就是会讲 math 为什么。是一个很有趣的事情，然后也是一个很重要的学科。然后我们也会讲一些关于数学竞赛的一些建议和数学竞赛给我们带来的好处。Okay, so let's start with this question: Why math is fun? 为什么数学很有趣 ？So as we all know, math is a very important subject. Mathematics provides an effective way. Of building mental discipline and encourage logical reasoning and mental region. In addition, mathematical knowledge plays a crucial role in understanding the contents of other school subjects such as science, social studies, or even music and arts. 说，所以首先数学是很重要的，就是数学能力其实是每个人都要有。然后你知道学好数学，呃，也是对于你的其他学科，比如说科学，然后。社会学，甚至是音乐跟美术都是会有帮助。然后我们来讨论一下为什么数学是很有趣。首先，数数字它帮我们理解这个世界。So numbers help us understand the world. So the real life application of mathematics are endless. We are surrounded by numbers, equations, and algorithms. Especially in this in this age of data science, with huge data、uh, sets that can only be understood through Statistical models and analysis. 首先就是数字，它是在我们生活中是啊、呃、到处都是，就是我们现在用的电脑、手机，还有
我们平时需要做一些非常简单的运算，有可能会一些难的运算，他们都是需要借借助数字的力量。And math encourage our curiosity and questions. 说数学激发我们的好奇心。Math uses critical thinking and builds a uh, problem-solving skills, um, and encourage curiosities. We may think of math uh, as looking for answers to a problem in a book or on a worksheet, but math really starts with wondering or asking questions. Helping students to start by wondering builds interest and motivations. Math is essential to the study of science. The act of questioning, testing, and problem-solving show up in both areas. And finding the answer is satisfying. And math problems may not be easy to uh, solve, but finding the answer it can be very satisfying. So, 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 很多时候，日常生活中的能力，呃，日常生活中你会遇到许多问题，然后呢，你学习数学有时候就能帮助你们解决一些日常生活中的问题。嗯，第二点就是数学有很多的应用场所。So the second point is, uh, math is applicable in a broad range of fields of studies. So let's say science, engineering, finance, and software. So a lot of important, um. Industry and fields require math skills. 就比如说，呃，科学，呃，工程，金融，经济，然后软件，他们都需要数学，所以说数学是非常重要。好，我们接下来有请我们第一位啊、um, 演讲者 Tim C 林。And now let's have our first guest speaker, Tim Siling, to talk about his own experience in math. Uh, you can. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, 不好意思，刚刚我网络出了一些差错。Um, so yeah, hi everyone. I am Timothy Lin. I am Lord Bing, uh, Math Contest Club's uh former uh president, and I graduated this year as Lord Bing's class of 2022. I am not a Bing Art student. Um, 所以我是 Timothy Lin. 然后我嗯、um, 是就是去年我是这个。数学俱乐部的主席，嗯、um, ，对，然后呢，我呃，今年刚毕业，啊、uh, ，Yeah， so， 嗯、um, ，Next year I am going to Johns Hopkins University， 呃、uh, ，and I plan to do a double major， 呃、uh, ，for mathematics and computer science， 所以我明年的话会去约翰霍普金斯学数学和计算机，嗯、um, ，我那个呃，因为时间原因，所以我就是。呃、uh, ，简单的把我，嗯、um, ，就给大家一些啊， uh, 如何学数学的一些简介，嗯、um, ，和我呃我自身的一些情况，跟大家分享一下。嗯、um, ，我的话就是因为我们的时间并不多，所以我就是呃先用英文呃说了，到时候 Q&A 的时候，嗯、um,。我会把我的就是联系方式发在群里啊、呃，大家感兴趣的话就是可以私信我，然后对我可以嗯呃，我可以就呃更 detail 的解释一下一些东西吧。Yeah, so, uh, first I'm gonna talk about my awards and some of my experience with mathematics. Uh, I am uh the top math student in Lord Bean. Uh. In the class of 2022,、um, I basically won this award、uh, from my good math grades,、uh, math contest awards, and also kind of、um, a good leadership skill. And yeah,、um, my experience with mathematics, I wrote a research paper、uh, on math with Pioneer Academics in Grade 11.、Um, I have 
100% in AP Calculus. Um, I took uh, AP Calculus BC in grade 10 and I got a five on it. Uh, I also have 99% in Pre-Calc 11 and Pre-Calculus 12. Uh, yeah, so in uh, math contests, I achieved honor roll in AMC 12 uh, and I qualified for Amy in both grade 11 and 12. Um, I also received honor roll in many other Waterloo CMC contests, such as Fermat, Hypatia, Kaylee, Pascal, Friar, CAMC. Um, I placed top 10 in Math Challengers, which is like a provincial contest hosted by UBC and SFU. And yeah, um, I received perfect score for uh, SAT2, SAT, and also ACT math. Um, Howard, you can go to the next slide. So yeah, um, today what I really want to talk about is how to build um, good math skills uh, that can help you succeed in math and also um, math contests in general. Uh, one thing that I kind of want to mention before we dive into this is that math is quite different from a lot of other subjects, uh, such as, for example, English. And um, the thing that makes it very different is that we can learn the concepts very fast and the marks and skill level um, can dramatically change in uh, a few months. So what I mean th by this is if we know the right way to learn mathematics, we can learn it very quick, quickly. And that's also the way how we succeed in doing contests. And personally, what I really prefer to do is to learn mathematics topic by topic. Um, I know this might seem um, very naive, but uh, from what I've seen from a lot of tutoring organizations, uh, they explain uh, a lot of past contests and problem sets, but what they don't do is they don't um, separate these past contests or categorize them into different topics. So once we see a contest, uh, a concept or a question inside, for example, a math contest, um, we might just see it once or twice and we'll forget it um, we'll just simply forget it and we won't see it too often. So what I would recommend to do is to actually categorize a lot of problem sets together. So when we work on them, we have a lot of practice on this specific concept uh, to help us kind of memorize everything better. And that's basically my way of studying mathematics. Um, yeah, so... I also read a lot of books and do a lot of problem sets. Uh, for books, I strongly recommend uh, books from Art of Problem Solving. This is um, one of the best math contest websites. Uh, I think uh, either me or Howard can paste it in the link uh, in the chat uh, after, after or in the Q&A section. Uh, so yeah, um, Art of Problem Solving, they have a lot of very great books um, in which I personally read Intermediate Algebra, Intermediate Counting and Probability, Number Theory, uh, and Volume 1 and 2. For contests, I would strongly recommend reading uh, AOPS Volume 1 and 2 as it really helped me improve my math skills over a very short period of time. And I would say Intermediate Counting and Probability, it's very helpful for people who are planning to do researches or even in school courses like AP Statistics. And yeah, Intermediate Algebra, I think it's very necessary as um, a lot of high school courses or university courses in the US, uh, they have a linear algebra and number theory, of course, is also one of the biggest concepts in mathematics. Some problem sets. I really recommend people doing is, first of all, AOPS have a math counts trainer. Um, this is like uh, giving um, us a lot of math contests, uh, math contest questions from math counts. And after we finish each question, they would send us uh, what type of math question is this? And so we can better categorize them. And um, I would say these problems, are, are like the problems that can allow a person um, to 
start, for example, from an amateur and um, close the gap between an amateur and a pro. So yeah, um, so this uh, math counts trainer, it's something I would strongly recommend when, um, for example, someone is starting to do mathematics um, as, well, as well as math league problem sets. So math league is also kind of um, a Canadian and US contest that happens uh, throughout high school. And they do have a lot of contests, whether it's um, in booklets or online. So yeah, I can talk more about these problem sets um, in the next slide. And math club problem sets. So these problem sets are specially picked by um, me and Howard. And we used to categorize a lot of problem sets and put them together. Uh, for example, um, in one unit, we would talk about uh, a small section in algebra, and sometimes we would talk about geometry. And yeah, um, we have all these problems related to each other, so we can use these concepts used in the previous problems to solve the ones afterwards. Another resource I would strongly recommend is AOPS's For the Win. Um, it's also similar to Math Counts, but it's a bit more fun. So I guess um, you guys can check it out. And yeah, um, Howard, do you want to go to the next slide? Additional resources I would strongly recommend is, um, first of all, there's a lot of things in Art of Problem Solving's website. Um, they have a theorem, theorems page, which I strongly recommend everyone to take a look at. Um, this page contains theorems, basically all the theorems we will need for math contests from low level to very high level. So yeah, I would say once, um, we can master these theorems, we would do very well in math contests. Of course, as I mentioned before, the math count uh, system, uh, I wrote it twice because I really want to emphasize how, how important and how good this program is. Third of all, thankfully our school this year was able to get funding for our Math League online learning system, which provides us with all the past contests, uh, all the math league past contests for free to all math club members. Um, because it's 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 supposed to be like some some service that requires money, so we can't really make it free for the whole school. But we were able to have the system, and yeah make it available for all math club members. So it contains all the past math league contests and they also labeled and categorized each problem uh, and also their difficulty as well. So yeah, it's very good uh, for us to kind of take a look at it and start running these problems. Well, and this, uh, this next resource is Waterloo's math e-learning system. I personally haven't really taken a look at it, but I know that there is a lot of resources in there, and I know a lot of people has been have been um uh learning from this system. And yeah, Howard, do you want to go to the next page? And I would say the last thing I want to mention, or it's more of like an encouragement. So why math contests? and simply like, why take this? So for me, I believe that math contests provide people with interdisciplinary knowledge, which means that the concepts we learn in math or contest math can help us in physics, computer science, or even stuff like accounting. So it can help us in a lot of different areas of study. And for me, uh, I'm just using kind of my personal example. What I, when I started doing computer programming contests, such as the Canadian Computing Competition, and also uh, the US one, which is Usical, I really used a lot of concepts I learned in contest math and plugged it in there. As they're very correlated, and that also allowed me to, within like a very short period of time, to really succeed in computer science contests. 
so yeah, um, I did very well in the Canadian competing competition. I think I was around like top five or six in BC. But yeah, um, math contests, they also provide us a very strong foundation in math in general. So for example, what I'm talking about is like, by doing math contests, I have this foundation that can allow me to take AP Calculus BC in grade 10. It can allow me to get like very high grades without like studying very intensively. And also it also gives me like the foundation to write like a research paper, like something like that, which might seem very difficult to people who just started learning uh, calculus or pre-calculus. Yeah, and what what is also very important, and I think this is what everyone wants, is to have like a perfect resume. So for example, what math contests helped me in my resume is, I would say it's absolutely crucial. Like half of my extracurricular um, is either math contest awards or re uh, dir uh, directly or indirectly related to math contests. For example, the research paper, um, some website I made uh, with some math theorems and talking about them. And yeah, so I will just talk about some contests our school offers. And yeah, um, our, our school provides basically all Lord Bain students with AMC math contests, COMC math contests, and all the CMC Waterloo math contests. This means uh, all the contests like Pascal, Kaylee, Fryer, Gauss, Euclid, and a bunch more. And so yeah, um, everyone who's interested in it or maybe just wants to you know, take a look at contest math, I strongly recommend um, just taking these contests as our school makes it completely free to all the Lord Bean students, which is really nice as um, we do need to pay like an extra $30 if we were to take it outside of school. And yeah, and um, we, our math contest club did receive a lot of funding from our school. And this really allows us to host contests like Math Challengers, Math League, and CMC's Canadian Computing Competition. And yeah, we make this free for all math contest club members. And so this is kind of like a other exclusive um, perk when we join math contest club. Uh, yeah, these contests are mostly provincial or sometimes uh, national wide contests. And if people are, for example, very interested in them, uh, feel free to contact Howard, uh, Terry or Eleanor to you know sign you guys up for it. So yeah. Uh, and that will be the end of my presentation. I guess we will move on. Um, so thank you, Tim C, for your wonderful speech. And um, I will uh, quickly summarize what he said um, in Chinese. So I will quickly translate into Chinese. He said some things. First, 他的一些经历 比较重要的就是那个AOPS, Outer Problem Solving, 然后这个我们也会接下来细说, 还有一些就是练习题, 比如说AOPS的 Math Count Trainer, 然后 Math League的一个练习题, Math Club的出业练习题, 是由我和我们的一些 Executives一起做的, 然后我们会在Weekly Meeting的时候 讲解这些题目, 然后其他一些学习资源就是AOPS的一个各种页面 还有Math League它的一个 
呃线上学习的系统，然后还有呃滑铁卢的一个数学的线上学习系统。然后关于为什么要参加数学竞赛呢？首先，它会帮助我们在许多学科都获得成功，然后还还能建立牢固的数学基础，在接下来为我们，比如说要做一些。啊、呃，研究，然后首先呢，在大学里面啊、呃、的一些数学的呃学习都是非常非常重要的。然后对于个人经验经历的提升也是非常多的，就是比如说你们参加一些数学竞赛，然后获得了奖的话，你们可以写在自己的简历里面。然后对于申请大学或者申请一些啊、呃、别的项目的时候，都是会非常有帮助的。啊、呃，特别是如果你想申请关于理科，比如说啊、呃、科学，然后工程和数学。然后 let's introduce、uh, our second speaker, Charles, to share his math experience. 然后我们现在有请我们第二位的呃演讲者 Charles 做呃来讲解一下他们他的自己的一些在数学方面的经历。嗯、um, ，Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Charles. Uh, so I just graduated from being a sir. And、uh, I'm heading to like、uh, UBC this September for engineering. And、uh, mm, I'll just quickly summarize my like achievement or or what I have done with mathematics. So in high school, I think、uh, I did just like almost all mathematical competition, and、uh, I got a few like you know like topping provincial like awards, but like I forgot there. Specific names like Fermat, uh, Euclid, Hypotenuse, uh, yeah, and、uh, I think in the last few years I just focused on the topic of computer science, which is closely closely related to mathematics, and I think my experience with mathematics really helped it as it just got me like um, got me better in. Uh, programming competitions, and uh, uh, I also used my like you know mathematical skill to to you know I I used it as a part of my whole skill set to get like an internship at Tencent. Um, yeah. So I will just summarize like my takeaway from all the experiences with math. So I think the the core reward of doing math math uh math competitions is the ability to solve problems. Because you know, like, for each time period or like any time period in our life or in like the whole view of the world, um, there's never one thing that is certain. You know, like, um, computer science is not popular, AI is popular, but like thirty years ago, it's like um electrical engineering or chemistry. But like, what doesn't change, what never change, is the process of solving problems. It is a different domain knowledge. Uh, it is a different domain knowledge and the like the settings, but the fact that uh being great, being um creative, it requires you to solve problems. And uh, the 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 best thing you can do to practice practice this problem solving skill is mathematics, because it's like the pure. Definition of logic. It's like yeah, it just require like logical uh thinking, which which is like super helpful. Like after you are really like a good mathematicians, you can easily transform to other fields like CS or even finance with your like do uh with your mathematical ability plus some domain knowledge. Like um. Many math PhDs when they finish their studies, they just learn some. Uh, finance stuff and、uh, go to quantitative hedge fund. Another thing I, that that I want to mention about mathematics is like the challenges and confidence you can gain from the experience because because um doing competitive competitive mathematics especially it require you to being be creative and face challenges that never has been like you know overcome or challenged before because. Um, for competitions like C, the AMC, the policy of competition is to make problems that never that never appears before into the every year's competition. So it kind of require you to tackle, you know, unfamiliar topics in stuff like in the classrooms. You just do what teachers say, and you just practice some certain.
problem set and we just you just set for a life you get a good score in your test but in comparative mathematics it isn't it's similar to your life because you know um unfamiliar or never appeared question or problems always appear in your life and you have to tackle it yeah mm -hmm. yeah also mathematics really help your higher studies college application may uh, may ask for resumes and the mathematical uh, mathematics research or competitions uh, can just give you like a stellar resume to to apply universities or jobs especially like jobs you know like competitions like panam uh, in university is like a really uh, bench a really important benchmark for those like you know hedge funds to assess like applicants um you can probably get an interview with like a really good comp uh, competition score to like you know literally like the top company in the universe um another thing about mathematics is it's pretty fun so it will just give you motivation to continue study studying it like every time you solve like a problem that you saw you you thought you couldn't solve it will just give you like the sense of achievement that will just like power you to continue your journey and uh okay I think this is not scientific, but it's like my personal finding is that mathematics actually make you smarter, especially competitive mathematics. So it's like your brain is like a, a black box. So it kind of like, yeah, many people think it, it doesn't change. It's like, it's always the same since your birth, but like I actually find it kind of interesting and different because uh, it's like, a, you know, like a neural network. It's like, as long as you activate some certain part of your brain, it kind of become more efficient or uh, better in some sense. Um, in this case, it's like if you do more math problems, it will make you a better problem solver. Um, apparently, like to, to appear outside, you are smarter in a way. So uh, in conclusion, doing mathematics make you a smarter person. And that is a good thing. Um, I think that's just my speech. So, Howard, could you summarize a bit? Yeah, okay. So, thank you, Travis. And yeah, I will briefly summarize uh, your speech in Chinese. Okay, okay. Howard, like, um, I can do it myself. Oh, thank okay. you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just what the uh Wasuan 我去年在做了和一个教授做一个 然后我今年会有一个cryptography的一个research，呃，是关于就是信息的加密与解密。然后我发现，虽然它看上去是一个CS的一个field，但是它其实也是非常和数学相关的。我在数学里面学到很多theorem，在那里面可以用上。所以就
，嗯，包括了给竞赛所有的那些要学的知识。It's like if 你只要把那个全看完了，就是你就可以变得就就是非常非常牛逼，就跟那个武武侠小说里面那种那种秘籍一样。基本上你看完然后做那些那些练习做的比较好，那肯定是嗯，我觉得进加拿大国家队都是很有戏的。啊、uh, ，然后至于在学校里面呢，你就你们就可以多参加这种 math club 的活动，然后这里面有很多就是不仅是你可以学到东西，而且就是我觉得同学之间的这些建立这些 network 也是非常重要的。就比如说给我影响比较大的几个人，就是以前在 math club 几个学长，他们现在也通过他他们的经历，就是他们的那些数学的那些经验，在大学给他们非常厉害那种就是 reward 的话，虽然他大学学的。并不是数学啊、呃，并不是数学竞赛那些内容，但是他们还是能拿到，比如说在很很很难的大学能拿到那种九十七八的那种 average。然后这个书就是我们的，我们到时候可以放那个视频的简介什么的，就是 Art of Problem Solving 他们出的一个书，非常的好。嗯，这就是我大概要说的。好的，谢谢 Charles。Um, so thank you for the two guest speakers, and now we will move on to um next topic. So before we talking about um how to uh take math contests, so I know that many high school students are struggling to survive school math classes or courses. So I will first give some advices and for how to survive in uh, school math classes. So first is pay attention in class, one hundred percent, maybe even two hundred percent. So listen to what teacher says. And the second point is to not mind memorize questions, but understand how to solve the problems. Uh, 首先我们先讲一下就是学校里的那些数学怎么做，数学课怎么学习。首先呢，你必须一点就是你要在上课认真听，呃、um, ，老师讲的什么很重要，就是特别是他的思路。第二点就是不要记怎么做题，就是不要记题目的步骤，而是理解就是为什么这个题是这么做的。呃，第三点就是多做一些练习，就是比老师给你的那些家庭作业要更多一点，不要只是做完他的嗯。Um, 给你作业就结束了，特别是你在复习考试的时候，有可能去呃网上多找一些练习，或者做一些练习书都是更好的。So the third point is do more practice than what teachers ask for, especially when you are studying for a exam. Um, let's say um the homework the teacher uh gave to you are not enough to Help you to achieve 95% or 100% in math classes. So you need to do more、uh, questions from online or practice、uh, problem sets. And the next point is do preview and review before and after each class. 然后预习和复习都是很重要的 And last but not least, if you don't understand the concept, don't hesitate to ask. So if you leave one concept. Uh, not understood. You will have more and more、um, concept not understood. So, 所以说不懂就问啊， um, 就是如果你一节课遇到有一个不懂的概念，就直接问，不然的话，接下来积累越来越多呢，就整个就都不会了。然后，如果你觉得自己的数学课上成绩都非常好，然后我觉得你完全可以去试一下数学竞赛。So if you find yourself very comfortable with、um, in-school math classes,、uh, why not challenge yourself with math contests? And our school, in fact, holds many national and international math contests during a regular academic year. 就是呃，我们学校平时呃也会组织和举办非常多的呃国家级的和那种国际级的那种比赛。然后你们会问，就是说做数学竞赛能够得到什么？首先就是批判性思维，因为数学的这种思维方式是不同于就是平时的呃那种呃理解
但是呢，所以说学习数学竞赛做数学竞赛的题目，就是能够提升你的计算性的思维能力。然后，呃、uh, ，so critical thinking is the first point because um you are developing your uh different style of mathematical thinking during uh learning and studying for math contests. 第二点就是提升你的数学能力，因为数学竞赛，呃，普遍来讲会比学校学的数学竞赛会难很多。So the second point is skill building opportunity, and math contests are excellent opportunity for you to build your math skills because many questions are harder than what you are doing in the school. Uh, third point is get challenged. And first point is grow confidence because if you find yourself doing very well in math contests, you are confident. Um, you will say, "Oh, I'm good at math, and I'm good at problem solving." Uh, 然后呢，就是挑战自己跟提升信心。还有就是训练思考能力 ，think uh out of outside of box. 呃，和学校学的数学不同的是，呃，数学竞赛它会鼓励你去用。不同的那种解法去解一道题，然后你可以用那些别人从来没有想到过的方法去做这道题，所以说它是一个非常好的训练思考能力。Cause um math contest encourages you to use different methods and ways to solve a certain problems, and you may use a method that other people have never used, and it's a very good way to um let you think outside of box. And next point is, of course, knowledge enrichment. 然后拓宽知识，因为有些啊数学竞赛中的知识点，它在平时的数学课里面是不会教的。Cause um because some of the concepts that you need to use in a math contest are not required in regular math classes. Um, I mean in uh high school math classes. So yeah, doing some math contest will help you to enrich your knowledge. And last but not least, have fun. I mean, some people may say math is not fun and math contests are worse. But when you find yourself solving a problem and let's say you are thinking、uh, through a way that other people never thought of, it is actually a fun. Okay, so, so you say, uh, have fun. 就是其实它是很有意思。就是说，如果你思考，呃，用用不同的方式思考，然后用不同的方式解决问题，其实也是一个很有意思的过程。呃，接下来我会把话筒交给 Alan， 然后来让他来讲一下关于呃几个比较重要的数学竞赛。So now I want to transfer Uh, my microphone to、uh, Eleanor, and she will be introducing some very important、uh, math contests、uh, taking place during a regular school academic year. And ah, ha! Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Howard, for、um, giving the mic to me. So now,、um, since after talking about All of the benefits that math contests can bring. Let's talk about the math contests that we can take and the contests that our school, like our math club, offers. 那我们现在知道了这么多数学竞赛的好处，那我们现在就可以谈一谈我们数学俱乐部举办的一些 contests. 那首先呢，就是 AMC， 就是 American Math Contest. 那 AMC 就是最大的数学比赛。So first of all, we have the AMC, the American Math Contest, which is、uh, one of the largest contests in the regular school year. So there are three types of AMC: the AMC eight for grade eights or like students under the age of fourteen point five. We also have the AMC ten. For students under the age of seventeen point five and grade ten and below, and lastly the AMC twelve, 
for students under the age of 19.5 and grade 12s or below. 那么，嗯，我，呃，就是 AMC 有三种。首先就是 AMC 八是给八年级的，或者就是十四点五岁以下的小朋友。然后有 AMC 十是给十岁，呃，不是十年级或者十七点五岁以下的人。还有有 AMC 十二是给十九点五岁或者，嗯，十二岁以下的人。OK， 然后，呃。那个 AMC 呢，是大家写 AMC， 然后就有一个 AIME 是第二轮竞赛，然后第三轮竞赛是 USAMO。嗯、um, ，There are three rounds of the AMC. Uh, there's the first round AMC. Well, everyone can write it, and then there's the AIME, the invitational contest, and the third round is the USAMO. So this is the AMC. Howard, could you please go to the next slide?、Mm -hmm. So aside from the AMC, which is hosted by America, we also have Canadian math contest, and、um, the most famous one in Canada is the Waterloo math contest. So there's CIMC and CSMC, and also like the CEMC, where there are the Pascal, Kaylee, and Format contest, so there's a contest that corresponds to each grade level. 那除了有美国的竞赛，我们还有加拿大的竞赛，有 CIMC, CS, MC, 还有 CMC， 就是每个年级对应的有一个比赛。嗯、um, ，可、um, 嗯 ，Howard, can you please go to the next? 嗯、um, ，Thank you. And there's also other math contests. The COMC Math League and Math Challengers. Uh, 还有其他的比赛就是 COMC Math League 还有 Math Challenger. 那这些比赛，呃，我们数学俱乐部都是会举办的。所以，如果你是我们的 member 的话，你就可以免费来打，呃，申请来。写这些比赛，而在其他的机构，通常都是要交一个大概三十块钱的写比赛的费用，所以我们就鼓励呃同学参加我们的 club。嗯、um, ，Yeah， so， 呃、uh, ，there's a lot of math contests that our club hosts for free， and if you want to write it with educational organizations outside, you may have to pay. So we recommend you to join our club to write these contests. And on the next slide, Howard, please, there is going to be a、um, schedule on the math contest. So you can、um, take note, note this down so that you will not miss any contests、uh, in the next year. And so I've Finish talking about the math contest that we host, and now I'll pass the mic to Terry, who will teach us about the topics on how to prepare for a math contest.、Uh, thank you, Eleanor. Okay, next slide.、Um, as one of our objectives is to help students prepare for the incoming math contest, there are certain topics that. We will be covering during our in our weekly contest preparation meetings. Uh, is 就是我们其中我们其中的一个就是目标就是帮助学生来准备数学竞赛嘛。然后有然后有有有一些 topic 我们就可以帮助学生。我们会在我们会在我们我们每周的每周的呃开会会议里会来教学生。嗯。Those topics include algebra, geometry, number theory, counting, and probabilities. Also, calculus. 我我们我们我们我们会讲包括代数、几何、数论、概率学以及微积分 And to be noted that、um, calculus is not likely to be tested in those contests aforementioned, but learning it could help you navigate through these contests more conveniently. 就是要记住的一点是微微积分，就是它微微积分作作为一个就是呃 post secondary 的一个数学数学的 subject， 它不它不太可能会出现在这些高中的数学竞赛里。可是
，学习可是学习学习这些，呃 ，calculus 知识也可以可以帮助学生就是更快更轻松的，呃，搞定这些学习这些数学竞赛，呃，下一页。And there are certain learning sources that that can help students navigate through the math content. And the first one is Art of Problem Solving, yes, 简称 AOPS.、Uh, AOPS provides thousands of questions from the past math contest, ranging from AMC to USAML. And for many questions, it pro it provides multiple solutions and different approaches to the question. It is useful tool for students who who are preparing for the MSc and and any further contest. So, it is this art of problem solving. This tool, this website, can help students to prepare for the MSc. Like in the U.S. for example, MAA organizes, for example, AMC and later AME, later the USAMO. Because it provides it provides 它提供了以往所有的就真题考试 AMC 的那些真题考试，就这样，然后然后那些那些记录下来的问题都会都会提供答案和解题思路，然后有一些比如说有一些难的题，可能就会有多种思路，然后也都会就是提供，所以对这对于学学生来说是一个很好的，对于美国美美国的数径是一个很好的。Uh, now the second one will be Khan Academy. Khan Academy off offers lectures and pra practice exercises for high school mathematics to college level calculus and beyond. This Khan Academy is can help some normal students to help them solve their math problems in school or or AP AP 微积分和一些就是或者正常的大学大学等级的微积分，嗯、um, ，然后最最后的一个是 Mathematics Contest Preparation by University of Waterloo。最后最后一个也就是华铁路大学组织组织的一个专门用来帮助学生准备加拿大的 CEMC 竞赛的一些工具。And those those preparation include problem set generator, con contest workshop, and most importantly, the CMSC pass contest. It's a great tool in general for st for students to prepare for the incoming Canadian con math contest. 就是这个这个 preparation 工具是可是可以可以帮助。学生以这些方面，就是他们会提供以以往所有的，直到一直直到大概一九九零这个滑铁卢数进刚开始的时候，是从到现在所有的所有的真题真题考试都会记录，然后也跟跟 Art of Problem Solving 一样，会提供不同的解题思路，让学生更好的准备。呃，下一页。好，我我我知道，就现在现在从开始已经过，它快大概一个小时了。我们我们现在有，我们现在就会有一个 break， 就是让让好让人来来就是吸收一下刚刚刚刚讲的一些事情。So thank you, thank you so much for listening right now, and we will be having a short five five minute break. And during the break, we will watch a video about. Math anxiety. 在这个这个很快的短暂的休息期间，我们会看一个关于数学焦虑的视频。然后我们我们会在五分钟后回来。When French mathematician Laurent Schwartz was in high school, he started to worry that he wasn't smart enough to solve math problems. Maybe you know a similar feeling. You sit down to take a math test, and you feel your heart beat faster, and your palms start to sweat. You can't concentrate. This phenomenon is called math anxiety.
And if it happens to you, you're not alone. Researchers think about 20% of the population suffers from it. Some psychologists even consider it a diagnosable condition. But having mathematical anxiety doesn't necessarily mean you're bad at math. Not even close. Laurent Schwartz went on to win the Fields Medal, the highest award in mathematics. People might think that they're anxious about math because they're bad at it, but it's often the other way around. They're doing poorly in math because they're anxious about it. Some psychologists think that's because math anxiety decreases a cognitive resource called working memory. That's the short-term memory system that helps you organize the information you need to complete a task. Worrying about being able to solve math problems or not doing well on a test eats up working memory, leaving less of it available to tackle the math itself. People can suddenly struggle with even basic math skills like arithmetic that they've otherwise mastered. Academic anxiety certainly isn't limited to math, but it does seem to happen much more frequently and cause more harm in that subject. So why would that be? Researchers aren't yet sure, but some studies suggest that the way children are exposed to math by their parents and teachers play a large part. If parents talk about math like something challenging and unfamiliar, children can internalize that. Teachers with math anxiety are also likely to spread it to their students. Pressure to solve problems quickly dials up stress even more. And in some cultures, being good at math is a sign of being smart in general. When the stakes are that high, it's not surprising that students are anxious. Even Miriam Mizrakhani, an influential mathematician who was the first woman to win the Fields Medal, felt unconfident and lost interest in mathematics because her math teacher in middle school didn't think she was talented. So if you experience mathematical anxiety, what can you do? Relaxation techniques, like short breathing exercises, have improved test performance in students with math. Physical activity, like a brisk walk, deepens breathing and helps relieve muscle tension, preventing anxiety from building. You can also use your knowledge about the brain to change your mindset. The brain is flexible, and the areas involved in math skills can always grow and develop. This is a psychological principle called the growth mindset. Thinking of yourself as someone who can grow and improve can actually help you grow and improve. If you're a teacher or parent of young children, try being playful with math and focusing on the creative aspects. That can build the numerical skills that help students approach math with confidence later on. Importantly, you should give children the time and space to work through their answers. And if you're an administrator, make sure your teachers have the positive attitudes and mathematical confidence necessary to inspire confidence in all of their students. Also, don't let anyone spread the myth that boys are innately better than girls at math. That is completely false. If you experience math anxiety, it may not help to just know that math anxiety exists. Or perhaps it's reassuring to put a name to the problem. Regardless, if you take a look around yourself, the odds are good that you'll see someone experiencing the same thing as you. Just remember that the anxiety is not a reflection of your ability, but it is something you can conquer with time and awareness. All right, so welcome back. And now, uh, I will give a brief introduction of our club overview. We are a school-based club that has more than 150 members of Shirley Road. And our aims are to help students prepare for the incoming math contest as well as to promote mathematics to all students. Uh, 
Okay, so thanks, Howard. Um, okay, so in 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 Lorby Math Contest Club, we host weekly meetings um, twice a week, in which we will be well helping students to prepare for math contest. Also, hosting in school contests, including our own LBMCC math contest, math challenger, and math league. So, so many else. We are also host helping to host AMC, COMZ, and CMZ Waterloo contest in our school, as well as introducing the problem of the day to help students engage and active with math and posting contest question walkthroughs and other fun math topics on our YouTube channel. So it is in the Lorbing School of Mathematics, we will have a meeting every week, and then we Weekly meeting, Mazo的开会就是一周一般一周会有两次。我们还会就是组织在学校里面的竞赛，就比如说呃呃罗宾数学竞赛，我们自己自己出题的罗宾数学竞速竞。uh, math Challenger and Math League，我们我们也会组织。然后我我们我们学校自己也会，就是会像像一个组织AMC、COMC、CMC、Watchdog Contest，然后我们的课我们的数数数学俱乐部就会帮助呃来host。还有就是，无论是在我们的微信、Discord，我们我们就是的数学俱乐部的群，我们都会每天都会发一题problem of the day，也就是每日一题，就是来帮助学生啊活跃和让学生更有更多的交流。对于数学来说，还有还有最后一个就是我们。我们我们我们我们有我们有一个YouTube channel，然后我们会我们会时常发发一些就是一些数学竞赛的一些题目，我们会教我们自己的解题思路，就以视频的形式。呃，好，我下一页。呃， uh, this is this is our this is our YouTube channel where we have been posting contest questions, walkthroughs from from uh contests like. AMC, AIME, and also CMC. So, this is the YouTube channel. Uh, we, then, we, 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 一些以往的真题，我们会挑选几个有意思的或者有难度的，我们会挑选几个出来，然后以以口述、以视频的形式来来来教大家，就是怎么解析这些题，然后怎么做。然而而且就是我们也以我们也有时候会发一些比较好
多招一些新的成员。当然，每个呃，无论你是什么年，你是什么年级，无论你是呃明年明明新学年新加入的八年级，或者是十二年级，你都你都可以来我加入我们的 club。然后呢，就是我们我们还是就是所所谓的，呃，每每周开两次会来，一般一般是两次，来帮助学生准备，呃，即将即将到来的数学竞赛。然后呢，一一般呢，我我们我们每周例会会发生在周二和周四，啊，还有就是我们我们数学。我们学校里面的数学竞赛，我们我们会时不时自己出数学竞赛来来帮助学生，就是可以当一次模拟测试给学生。还有还有一个就是拍 day， 拍 day 就是每年的三月十四号是是国际圆周率日，然后这这知道拍是跟数学跟数学息息相关的，然后我们的计划就是。在三月十四号的这的那一天，我们会组织许多数学活动。呃，最后呢，也就是 end of year carnival， 就是每年学年底会有会有一个给所有学生师生学校的所有师生的一个嘉年华活动。然后我们到时候我们的罗宾数学竞赛就会也会参与其中，当一个当一个承办商。对。差不多就是会，我们会提供各种服务，各种有小游戏，就奖品啊，就就是让人来，让学生来玩。嗯，对，这就是大致的计划。好，我下一页。呃，然后啊、呃，我一看到有人说，我问了说。这呃怎么加入我们？所以说呢，就加入的话就有三种方式。第一，你可以扫左边的这个二维码加入我们的微信群；右边的二维码是加入我们的 Discord 的服务器。然后或者是直接在 Instagram 上面搜呃 l o r d b i n m c c 呃这个账号，然后来 follow 我们。然后呃会在这里这这张 PPT 上面停留一会儿。So there are three ways to 啊、uh, join our club. First is to scan the left QR code to join our WeChat group. And um second is Uh, to scan the uh, right QR code to join our Discord server, and the last way is to follow us on Instagram, and our account is Lord B M C C. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, um, I like to have uh honor to introduce our uh next session, next webinar. That would be taking place around mid August and mid September.、Mm -hmm. Thank you, Howard. So we ho really hope you enjoyed this webinar. And around mid August to mid September,、um, we are going to have an another webinar where we invite professors from UVC and SFU to introduce about their lives. 那大概八月中到九月中的时候。呃，到时候我们会把确定的日期用微信、呃 ，Instagram 还有 Discord 发过去。我们会请 UVC 还有 SFU 的教授来讲一下，嗯，他们，呃，对数学的看法，啊，呃，他们，呃，对数学的想法，还有他们怎么样，呃，为什么会，呃，现在为什么会。呃，去 pursue 这个数学系，嗯 ，Howard， 下一页可以 ，Thank you。OK， 那现在就是我们的 Q&A 环节。如果你有问题想要问我们这些<咳> guest speaker， 可以呃在 chat box 里问。So now it's the 呃、uh, Q&A session. If you have anything to ask our <咳> guest speakers, feel free to type in the chat box. It's the、uh, your last chance to ask them before they graduate. 不是罗宾的学生也可以参加 club 吗？我觉得可以啊，他们可以，嗯，也去参加我们的 Discord。他们，呃，不在罗宾也也可以 participate 在我们的活动里面。对，他们可以参加，嗯，对，他们可以参加，比如说呃，每日一题这样的活动，或者说。呃，我们的我们组织的一些
竞赛也会发 online 的版本，然后呢，呃，他们也可以就是加入我们的 discussion， 比如说加入我们的呃 WeChat group， 然后 Discord server， 呃，还有方法就是啊、呃，就是他们可以通过我们的 YouTube channel 来看我们的一些会议或者说我们的一些讲解的题目，所以说呃都欢迎，就是说你们可以先加入我们的 group， 然后啊、呃、里面有非常好、非常有意义的东西。呃，然后你们现在有任何呃问题想要问 guest speaker 或者 host， 你直接就可以打在 chat box。So if you have any question to um guest speakers and hosts, so just feel free to type something in the chat box. And are there is any feedback about、um, the whole quality of the webinar or the process or the procedures?、Um, yeah, don't hesitate to point it out. This club is Luobing students organized, right? Yes, this club has been around for five years, five to seven years, and then. 是是罗宾学生举办的，然后呢，呃，每一届的 leader 都是学生，呃，活动都是学生组织的，但是我们会和呃我们的 sponsor teacher 啊、呃，呃一起沟通，比如说去让让他给我们一些 support， 也会跟呃 student council 就是学生会去获得一些 support， 呃，会有老师教学吗？这个暂时不会有，因为呃我们这是学生组织的 club。这个是学生组织课，然后所以说，呃，老老师，老师就是充当一个来赞助的，就是，就比如说，如果我们需要任何的来自校方的帮助，比如说资金啊或者，呃，一类的，我们就我们就会向我我我们的那个承办老师就会来帮助我们搞定这些事情。可是，在实在实际的一些我们的一些，呃。会议一些会议里，老师是不会教书的，一般都是我们学生来。Um, okay, so I saw a question to Tim C. Uh, uh, hi Tim C. Um, hello, yeah, I'm here. Um. I can, uh, I can send you a message, on, uh, on, uh, uh, do like privately. I can post my email here, and you can send it. To, uh, you can ask me there. Uh, okay. So next question. Uh, how many people are in the club? So yeah, we have about one hundred fifty. Okay, so any more questions or feedback? Okay, so yeah, uh, there's no more question um in the chat box, but if you uh have a question later, just feel free to contact us through uh our. WeChat, Discord, or Instagram, and yeah, you can say anything you want,、uh, or ask any question about our club or information and events. So yeah, thank you for listening to our speech and participating in、uh, this webinar. And yeah,、uh, I think more than seventy participants、uh, and attended this webinar, and we are really thank you for doing that. And I hope you all learned、uh, a lot、uh, in this one and a half hour. 然后呃，感谢你们大家来参与我们这个活动。然后我们第一期组织有有七十多个人参加。呃
，希望你们都能在这一个半小时里面获得一些比较有用的信息。嗯，好，谢谢大家，然后也谢谢我们这些组织者，他们都呃提供了非常多的 support， 也花了很多时间，还、啊、然后也谢谢我们的 guest speaker， 他们能够在。呃，暑假十二年级的暑假，抽出时间，在他们就是去大学之前还，还呃为他们原来的中学中学做的 club 做出了一些贡献啊，谢谢。好的呢，呃，我们接下来的活动呢会 post 在我们的呃 WeChat group， 然后 Instagram 上面，所以说呀，可以经常的 check 一下。OK， so， 我我们还会在这里等个五分钟左右，如果有任何问题，都可以在呃、uh, chat box 里面说。So we will stay here for another five minutes. So you have any、uh, last questions? Yeah, just type it in the chat box. And thank you for coming and stay updated、uh, through our Instagram and WeChat group. So yeah, if there is there any upcoming events, we you will get notified. Uh, can I get a QR code for Discord and WeChat again? Oh yeah, of course. So yeah, you can take a screenshot of the page if you want. Uh, also, by the way, if you want to、uh, stay here for a group photo、uh, and you are、uh, comfortable for、uh, opening your camera, yeah, you can stay here. And then I will take a group photo,、uh, a screenshot in one minute. 如果你们想，就是说我们现在会拍个合照。如果你们想留在这里，然后呃，有留在这里，然后我们一分钟后会拍一个合照。然后你们请把摄像头打开。如果你们不愿意的话，你们呃也可以不用。好的，我会停止屏幕共享。Uh, 哦，有一个新的问题，就是说，请问加拿大大学，比如多大，或者录取要求竞赛分数是多少呢？呃。他们不会说有呃要求竞赛啊，但是有竞赛是会很有帮助的，特别是滑滑铁卢的数学系或者呃滑铁卢的计算机系。然后竞赛分数的要求，呃呃，从往年来看的话，呃，最好的话是在呃前百分之二十五 percent， 或者说前百分之十 percent， 因为你拿到奖状的话是百分之二十五 percent， 呃。对于滑铁卢呃录取的话呢 ，Euclid 这个竞赛是非常重要的。然后，呃，如果你能拿到在 Euclid 拿到八十分以上，呃，是很有帮助的。OK， 所以说我们现在呃会 take 一个 group photo， 就拍一个合照。然后你们有愿意加入合照的话，我们会啊、呃、就请你们把啊、呃、摄像头打开。的，我们再等二十秒。如果有人愿意加入合照的话，啊、呃。OK， 那
，呃，我我倒数五秒啊。OK， 好的，谢谢大家。啊，我们今天的呃网上讲座就到此为止了。So yeah, our webinar ends now today, and thank you for attending, and looking forward to seeing you um in our future activities. Bye.